say. Because uh, <laughs> I hate working. That's the general. I just hate working, especially like today in an office setting where you have to do with human resources. Who in today's politically correct climate, they can make you sneeze racistly. They bring you in the office. Like you got to come in here. Why? Well, you sneezed yesterday, and it sounded a little anti-Semitic, and we really can't tolerate that here at Hebrew National. So we're going to send you to sensitivity training. <laughs> I was working in a place with Google Messenger, and with that, you can make a profile picture, you can make whatever you want it to be. I made my Batman. I got an email a half hour later, your Batman profile picture's offending some people, so you're gonna have to take it down. I was, like, was it offending criminals? I don't understand. Like, what's going on here? They go, well, you have to take it down because it offends people. I go, well, that's great, because now you're gonna find out all the things that offend me. So I found some lady with a picture of her baby, and I'm like, great place to start. <laughs> so I sent them you're aware of this or not, but my wife is incapable of having children, and I don't appreciate Lucy flaunting her fertility at me. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you took her offensive baby picture down. <laughs> X-O-X-O-Z. <laughs> then I saw somebody with a smiley face, I was like, they'll never see it coming. <laughs> Karen is displaying a picture of a smiley face as her profile picture. Seeing as how I suffer from depression. <laughs> Mostly brought on by my wife's infertility. <laughs> Seeing Karen irresponsibly parade around her happiness without taking into account those of us whose days are always cloudy <laughs> and not filled with an ounce of sunshine not only offends me, but depresses me to the point of asking myself, is it worth it anymore? <laughs> Please remove this unsettling smiley face at once! X O X O Z. <laughs> I don't work for Sally Mae anymore. That's how that ended. <laughs> and I can say their name legally because my severance is cleared, so fuck them. That's how the world works. <laughs> Here's the best thing about getting fired from Sally Mae. When they fired me, they made me sign a contract that said they will take legal action if I ever slander their stupid, corrupt criminal company in public. <laughs> What they fail to realize is, under the provision of the First Amendment, comedy is 100% protected, for now. Comedy is 100% protected, so basically it's not slander so long as I say LOL at the end of everything that I fucking say, it's fine. <laughs> so, I am married and I love my wife more than anything. I know I love my wife because I introduce her to everybody. And all guys know exactly what I'm talking about. When you're with women that you don't care about, you don't introduce them to nobody. <laughs> This is not gonna last long, that's who that is. <laughs> that's a hole I'm filling two times a week to make me feel better about me, that's who that is. And before anybody gets upset about that, my wife is just as crass and dark as I am, okay? We were watching the Jodi Reyes trial together, which is a weird sentence to begin with. We're watching that together, and at some point the newscaster goes, this is the most atrocious crime that happened in the last 15 years. And my wife looks at me and she goes, I can top it. <laughs> So you're beneficiary, right? <laughs> and we have no children, and that was way too many children, so I got a vasectomy to keep that number down. <laughs> Some people will get that way, I understand. Hey, it only costs $80 out of pocket with health insurance. People often ask, can you put a price tag on happiness? $80 is what happens. <laughs> I love meeting people that don't know me, and they're like, oh, you're married, so when are you having kids? Not. Well, you never know. Oh, yeah, I do. a doctor to mutilate me so an accident doesn't happen. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> my wife forgets it every now and then. No why? She came up to me like two months ago and she goes, I think I missed my period. To which I replied, vasectomy, because I like word association. And she goes, all right, smart ass, what if I'm pregnant? I go, we're either getting a divorce or going to church. Now choose wisely. <laughs> all right, you guys ready for your beaches this evening? 